Hello humans, my name is Nevitz, aka the Gutter Monkey, and I am back with another installment of Game of Thrones. Right now we're about to begin episode two. Uh I don't know what the I forgot what the title of this is called. I read it earlier when I downloaded this. But uh we got a picture of Jon Snow here. It looks like it says I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher of the wall. <laughs> okay. Did he say that on the show? Is that or is that the Is that the thing that the that the uh, people on the wall say? I don't remember. Anyway, let's start this. On the last episode, things didn't end too well. We got Ethan killed. I don't know if that happens to everybody, but it it certainly happened to me. I got stabbed in the neck. It wasn't pretty. I am dead now. So, we still got uh, Garrod and... What was that girl's name? Mira? Mia? Mira? It wasn't Mi Mia. It must have been Mira. Oh. Previously on Game of Thrones. These are dark days, I fear. never be lost. You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. That might have been a mistake. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasher. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. <laughs> Fucking Ramsey. <laughs> Looks like King's Landing, maybe? No, this is Essos. Uh, I bet th we're gonna play as Asher, I bet. He got exiled to Essos for hooking up with someone of an enemy family. Yep, Asher Forrester. Yukai, three days after liberation. What's Yuk Yukai? I don't remember that. Just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. Alright. This guy should be interesting to play as. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. Okay, I should better hurry up then. I don't know who she's this talking stuff about. Is weak compared to Northern Ale. Okay, well, that stuff's weak, apparently. Look at the spill. This place could use a good cleaning. Is that wine? Or blood? Don't do Taste dun. it and find out. I'm alright. What is this? Hookah! Fragrant. It's not really my thing, but I'm not here to judge. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Nice having the place to ourselves, though. So I guess this is a tavern? Or something like a tavern? What's that? Hatchet! I want to take that. Only a forester brings his axe all the way to Essos. Wicked little thing, though. Oh, that is our axe. Uh, it has our little, what do you call it, a sigil on it? Let's just take that. Probably need it. Knowing video games. Besh. Wait, Beska. Let's look at her. No, let's talk to her because last person I looked at 
Ale. I didn't get to talk to. Goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. Ooh. I know I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight I'm no bastard. You know, I'm not really a bastard. But you're my kind of bastard. It's half the reason we're friends. Another round? Well, it's good to have friends. I hear. Cheers. Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. Oh shit. What are we doing? How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> kicking him. Who is he? Remind me again. What's this fat pig fucker's name? Bazak Zog. <laughs> Something or other. We don't care really. So long as we get our gold. Zaga zag 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 not gonna work here anymore. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. Oh. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas. Sounds nice, doesn't it? That does sound fun. Who needs the best whores when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin, we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Well, we're coming to get Westeros you. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. It's not that simple. It's not that simple. In the north, these feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the north. We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're going to be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. Uh, to us. To us. Aye, to us. Push triangle when the time is right. Got it. Nailed it. Biscuit? I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? I'd cut your fucking throats! Alright, we're gonna have a problem. Good to see you too. It's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? Here. 400 dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. Uh, should be 800. Bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Uh, don't look back there. Ah. Give us eight hundred and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of Olvalia. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Oh. Bloody hell. And we're done with you too. Don't talk. Calm down. Calm down, Tizal. We can still work out a deal. 
You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. Okay, it's on. His masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. We how he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. We. Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte Osinas! Okay. Flip the table. Alright. Who dies first? Who dies at the end of the game? Okay. Now! Never more lives. Here's one. Got it. Come on! She couldn't pass me. Bam. Oh shit. Broke my sword. Oh. Oh. Ah oh, man. Thank you. You owe me. Yes, I do. I appreciate that. Whoa! Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Get him. Fuck you, Ash. Oh. Oh, we killed the shit out of them. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop. Me. Until you and your friend are dead. If I would have died again... Fucking all the gods are fire and fuck! Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Tazal? Oh shit. More on their way. We need to go. Stop, Asher. I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Oh, what are you doing? Here? We don't know. Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. And nobody knows about Ethan.
Episode 2, The Lost Lords. That's what it's called, The Lost Lords. We have lost everybody, not just Lord. Well, yeah, well, we've lost both Lords, but... Everybody's dying. Oh, it's Roderick. I told you, I, I knew he lived. Roderick Forrester, King's Road. Not home now. Who are you? Okay. <laughs> Damn Foresters. That is so fucking far away. Oh, that's our dad. When that horse landed on him, I thought, you know, that didn't look like a death to me. Far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly tops from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. Oh, well, they think I'm dead. You again. I, 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 you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, a stable boy I was in front of Sir Royland. You did this at Duskendale, and you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. They're Forrester. Look at the colors. You got it. Please. Oh, now, no, 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 no. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. Shit. You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. That come on. Sheep fucker. Let's go, let's go. I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry yourself. There you go. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's Roderick. It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By oh, the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Oh. Fetch the maester! Roderick! <sighs> Alright. Well, we lost Ethan, but we got Roderick. Just gonna pump me full of maggots. Should not be awake. I shouldn't be alive. Drink. Come now. Refuse it because I don't. We might need our head about us. Don't be stubborn, my lord. Roderick. I don't want to pass out. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Let him finish. Oh, let me finish my work. Let him. <laughs> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. Roderick, what have they done to you? Not now. These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Oh, man. Roderick? <gasps> he refused the milk for the poppy. That's Roderick for you. Brave as always. But the pain must be. <gasps> Roderick! <gasps> Roderick! Well, damn. The only reason I didn't drink is because I didn't want to pass out.
least we're alive. God, I hope we have our legs. Both of them. Alright, we look intact. Beautiful song. I haven't heard that one before. It's nice. Roderick, thank the gods. It was nice. Oh, I lost you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Hug her. Are you all right? Come here, sister. Yeah, tough it out. How bad is it? Least all Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. Damn it. And your face. Don't look good? Oh, you tell them it don't look good. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Damn right. Roderick. Something you need to know. Oh, I, I don't. Ethan is dead. Ethan. Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me, and that monster put a blade through his throat, like it was nothing. Ethan, how could this happen to him? Just don't say anything. I don't. What could I say in a situation like that anyway to make it better? Nothing. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. You can do it. You can, Talia. I know you can. Ethan used to play the lute while she was singing. They were really close. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lot. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Let's find out. Only one way to find out. <sighs> I bet we really clash with Asher when he gets here. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. We got it. Maybe. Come on. There you go. It's not so bad. Oh, oh shit. Patrick. I'm fine. We didn't make it very far, did we? <laughs> Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. Rolled in on a corpse, can The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. What's your plan? Take my hand. Let me help you. 
Thank you. I don't think we. Thank you, Talia. Ready? <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> I don't think we would have made it alone. Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. Ah, uh, this is... This is where we're gonna meet Jon Snow, I bet. I think Goddard here actually had a thing going on with Talia because he gave her that or she gave him that but Nicholas it seemed like they were having a moment when it happened so I just assume that they may have a romantic relationship of some sort your arrival is it another one for Frostfinger on a horse no less Giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because you got that look about you. I guess I am. I, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let them scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. No, not from what I remember. Not with Sam. What's going on here? You fight like a girl. A woggling girl, maybe. People have you said you fight like a dairy farmer. Somebody out there will get that. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wild things down to their fucking bones. I can use this? Huh. It's warm. What else can I look at? I'll teach him a lesson. I'll teach him. I'm trying to think, what was Jon Snow doing during the end of Season 3? I can't remember. At the time I'm filming this, uh, Game of Thrones is at the end of Season 7, so this is a while ago. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Garrett Tuttle. Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You thief, a raper. 
You abandon your post? Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Oh, I'm happy I told him. From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. You don't know me. You don't know me as well as you think. I know enough. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. They oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Uh, it's okay. Uh, nice to meet you. Kind of looking forward to donning their uniform. They dress really nice at the wall. It's really cool looking. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. <laughs> the White Hill soldiers are drunk again. Yeah, what a bunch of douchebags. And we have men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with Damn the corpses. It. Forrester's Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. That was embarrassing. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> go round. Soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. I hope he doesn't kill and me. I don't think you're <laughs> gonna make me. I don't think we can fight him right now, and he's got backup anyway. Oh god, we're gonna die. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs or this house? See, I never had good self-confidence, so I didn't think that was going to work. <sighs> Let's go. Well, all right then. Cool. Punked him out. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like the wine guests. keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lord. Man, these guys are always squabbling. Roderick. My boy. I like Roderick already. Come join us. He's got a really he's got a Ned Stark vibe Lady to him. Italia. 
You should have told us the Lord needed help. Man, I'm really thinking I should have just walked up here alone now. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. Thanks, guys. Mace said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lord, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole I've told you. Yeah, where I was, was he? I keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage. And what of you done to get him back? Nothing. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Ryland. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. And our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, that much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? Huh. She's coming now! He's barely recovered. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'll convince her. And I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. Chicks Elena dig scars. She'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Just handle it. We could keep them fed, but take away their wine. Well, that'd be something at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Thank you, Duncan. Ugh. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. That's crazy about Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're doing great. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. I don't think we had time to help her is why I didn't choose that. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but... Maybe your sister can find a way to help. Hopefully with Tyrion.
It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. To visit soon, we'll make it more soon. Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. Seemed like that was the most personal thing to say. I had to borrow that from father. Mine was stolen. Can you imagine? <laughs> Whoops. That's crazy. I don't... Who would do that? I wonder who it was. <laughs> it beats me. I don't... <clears throat> oh, anyway. Are there any more invitations to send? Or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Wonder what's up with him. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? She must be our friend. Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> she's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. Use some She's not entirely wrong. Reverse psychology. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Oh, we got her letter thing, so we can do it ourselves. I'd get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Oh, we can plagiarize uh, a letter from her. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Oh, uh, should I? Uh, it feels so wrong. I'm going to do it, I think. Oh, I'm so bad. Dear Lady Elena. No, dearest Lady Elena. I am going to get in trouble. She took the seal with her. We got, we s Luckily, I have this. Exactly. Marjorie's seal. Seal it. Of course. We've already gone this far. We'll do it fast. Hurry up and... Right. Oh shit. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Knock. Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. Shut up and just do your job. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Go ahead. Go ahead then. Well, it's... Something about a boy. We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. Something's up with her also. Bloody cold today. 
today, isn't it? It's weird how we keep going back and forth on this game. It's kind of cool. I say it'll be a short order. Oi, fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. You're spied. So move. I gotta be tough here, I think. We'll find another spot. Wrong fucking answer. It's like prison. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. To defend what? the realm from wildlings. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. We're gonna get in trouble for talking, I think. I'll stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. You fucked a potato? No, <laughs> he's that's an option. You fuck potatoes. But no, I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. <laughs> Nobody cares, thief. <laughs> Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. <laughs> There's one for the songs. Boy, uh, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? I knew it. Total. Who was it? I can't blame people. Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Oh, it's Jon Snow. I need a word. Go on, get started. I figured we'd run into him. Best of luck, Tuttle. Won't you be cool, man? Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Again. Who's up? See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. What should I do? Can I sword fight? Uh, oh, okay, I'm gonna do something. Practice the dummies, I guess. You're doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these, we're like. Oh! Lance Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. Let me show you. See if you can aim where the wildlings are. Oh god. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. 
Middle dummy, center of the chest. Oh man. R2. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target. Head. Good. Right target. Chest. Not bad. Thank you. Center. Between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Hmm, that was easy. Ooh, I, maybe I'm impressing John. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? Man, you're gonna get yourself killed. I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. He's gonna get himself killed. I can't tell on him. Uh, I just need to keep my too hard to burn. I seem to stay out of it. They say it's 700 feet tall and 8,000 years old. Not bad. So pet this horse. <laughs> Castle Black. So this is home now. Apparently so. What can we do? What can we do? Look at the hallway. Can't wander off now. Not a frost finger watching. I was just looking. Wasn't telling you to go anywhere. Okay, we'll take a sword fight a little bit if it'll let us before we go up the stairs. So Is that Take that! Take that! You grab a practice sword. Okay. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Got it. Good luck. Thank you. Come on, keep at it. I almost missed that one. Well four. Thank you. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Okay, let's not get cocky, all right? Okay, I think we might be going upstairs now. Wait, what's this? Did you see that? Did 
Can I do something to the ground right there? Training seems rougher here than I am. We gotta deal with white walkers. We need to train hard. Okay, wrong way. Ah, oh, shit, man. <laughs> I didn't mean to go downstairs. Okay, let's try this again. Tuttle, I gave you orders. So what are you doing up here? I want to know when I'll be taking my vows. You arrived yesterday, Tuttle. Worry about me, not your vows. Now if there's nothing else you need... Sir, have you heard of the North Grove? Of course I've heard of it. Just like I've heard of snarks, brumpkins and children of the fucking forest. It's all horse shit. I've answered your questions. So why are you still standing here? I'm curious. How did you lose your fingers? You're curious, are you? Are you curious what it's like inside an ice cell? No, sir. No, I am Didn't not. think so. Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work. I was pretty nervous about asking him that. Gotta tell you. Hey, before we go to the mess hall, let's see what's up here. Can I go up there? All right. Mess hall it is. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to go fast. I'm running out of time. That's the door to the mess hall. Wish they'd serve up more than stew. Okay, now, okay, I don't know what to do then. Uh... Nuts, what do I do? Oh, sorry, jeez. Oh, yeah, I gotta try I, my strength. I forgot about that. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. Right. I can do this. Want some help? I got it. I hope. Steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen oh, off. You are a prick. Oh, you're a prick. You know that. Yeah, I do. Gotta be faster. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. Oh, God. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? Uh oh If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. 
Just stay quiet, stay out of it. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Just calm Just down. Just calm down. Fight. Oh, oh. Shit. I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside. Don't do that. If you ever hit me again, I swear I'll... Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. God damn, sit still. <laughs> I can't get him. <gasps> Shit. God damn it. Get off. What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. I can't believe I missed him. He must have hit it. <laughs> and you. I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Mm. Frostfinger, I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. So, this pops up, we're gonna pause it. Alright, so, I think that's all I have time for right now. Actually, I've gone past the time. If you noticed a moment ago, there were, may have been a little bit of a cut, you'll see. <laughs> I'll try to make it as smooth as possible when I'm editing this. Uh, but, for now, uh, this is all I got. Adios. I would be your muggy man, mama. Just can't cram no coconut tree. I would be your muggy man, mama. Just can't cram no coconut trees. Clothes ain't sharp enough. My clothes ain't sharp enough. I break down with you, dizzy males. But I don't get on my happy black knees.